Uncle Joshua Weisman, one of the best YouTube chef ever. He nailed his egg fried rice, he nailed his tom yum, but he making terrible choice when it comes to facial hair. Hiya, Uncle Joshua, why you look like guy who gonna talk to me about NFT? Today, Uncle Joshua back making Thai green curry. Can he maintain his uncle title? Let's see, let's see. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Niece and nephew, do you know Netflix so sneaky? They hiding so many shows from you depending on where you live. Like if you in US, Netflix only have American version of Old oh Boy. That one of the worst movies ever. But look at this, Uncle Roger used ExpressVPN to change location to South Korea. And now the correct Old oh Boy on there, fui yo. No matter where niece and nephew live, ExpressVPN can help you get thousand more shows. Using Netflix without ExpressVPN is like cooking green curry without shrimp paste. You end up with the white people version of everything. ExpressVPN super fast also. So niece and nephew can watch show in HD quality with zero buffering. Buffering is most annoying thing. Imagine if you watch Uncle Roger like this, you will throw computer out window. Find out how you can get 3 month ExpressVPN for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash Uncle Roger. I'll click link in description box below. Okay, so today we are making a Thai green curry, but not just a Thai green curry. Then you're gonna make your own curry paste from scratch in a mortar and pestle by hand. Yes, good takes time. Good, good, good. He making green curry paste from scratch. That good because in Western country, very hard to get good green curry paste. Like when Uncle Roger make my Thai green curry, I make my own paste also. But if niece and nephew live in Thailand, okay to buy curry paste from shop because they got secret recipe passed down by generation. Or even better, kidnap random Thai auntie. Ask her make green curry paste for you because good green curry worth kidnapping someone for. So start by combining two teaspoons or four grams of coriander seeds. One teaspoon of coriander seed, correct? Cumin, correct? Or three grams of white peppercorns on a Correct, white peppercorn, correct? It's into an oven that's been preheated to 320. Hiya, oven for what? Just toast in pan, Uncle Joshua. Asian people, we just use oven as storage for pot and pan. Until lightly toasted. You could also do this in a pan if you want. Then let this cool. Oh, okay, he addressed that. Prepped. Are you ready for this? Very thinly sliced, nine Thai chilies, three serrano chilies. Okay, 12 chili toast. Total. Good amount. No chilies. Two small shallots. Shallot. Good. Of garlic. Garlic. Good. Cilantro stems. No leaves. Oh, oh, no, no. First mistake. Not cilantro stem. Green curry. You need cilantro root. Cilantro root. Root and stem different. Somebody didn't pay attention in biology class. Stock of lemongrass. A two inch knob of peeled galangal. Please. Here, okay. Galangal is key. That yeah. right? Unless don't replace kalangkau with ginger. Kalangkau and ginger, not the same thing. People who think ginger can replace kalangkau are the same people who think Jamie Oliver can cook very finely chiffon on three kefir lime leaves. Now since these are all getting good chopping in order to make grinding easier, a line mine up. I get a large mortar and pestle. Sir, pestle and motto, fui yo. Correct, correct. Grind those with your pestle until you get White out. grind, don't grind, hiya. Just like nephew Nick, you don't want to grind Uncle Joshua. You want to pound. Go watch my green curry video. Go see how good Uncle Roger is at pounding. That how I gonna win the heart of Auntie Esther. Your pestle until you get a powder, then get a towel underneath because you're destroying your countertop. Follow that up with your sliced Thai chili. Good pounding should always destroy countertop. Grind those into a deep Ah, he pounding here? Okay, he pounding. And really get in there and grind up. Pounding? Wait, wait, that, that it? He just pound two stroke and he finish. Feel bad for his girlfriend. Just two stroke. Hiya. Uncle Roger can pound at least twice as long. This will take two to three minutes depending on your technique. I rough chopped my sliced galangal and added that. Grind that down until it's pastified. Another one to two minutes. Then add your lemongrass, which has also been pretty finely chopped. Actually, don't need chopped so fine because it's gonna get pound to shit anyway. This is where technique comes in, pal. Use human instinct. Sensuous. What technique? Use your grinder to press it. That's not even pounding. What technique? You twist your pestle to get it nice. You want technique? Go watch Mark Ween, mother-in-law. That the right technique. Not this stirring bullshit. Till smooth, followed by coriander stem. Also till smooth. Coriander root, Grind not stem. Smooth. Your garlic. Grind it till smooth. Smooth. And last but not least, finish that off with a half teaspoon or four grams. Fuyo, correct, correct. Shrimp paste good and he used a lot. That's the right amount. 
not the white amount. Good job, Uncle Joshua. Blending all that together, totaling in at around 15 to 20 minutes of grinding. Yes, it's tedious, but the effort turns into reward when everyone is moaning at the dinner table. Do moaning at dinner table. This cooking video, not only fan. You'll know it's smooth enough if you can form a ball. What he like doing? Hey yo, it's the green curry. <laughs> this is not play though. Don't play with your food, Uncle Joshua. This green curry look like my ex-wife before makeup. My God, can I have your autograph? So on to the easiest part, the curry. In a medium-sized pot, add two tablespoons or 28 milliliters. Okay, or go in there over medium heat until hot, hot, bing, bang. Then add all of your curry paste. Wait, what? All of it. Curry paste already? No, 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 Uncle Joshua, no. Green curry got two methods. First step, you eat the fry the coconut milk to split the oil out like how Uncle Roger do. Or you do more home style where you mix the curry paste in water and boil it like how Mark Wien mother-in-law do. You don't just stir fry the curry paste. Big mistake here. Cook that guy down, stirring often until it's relatively dried out and is starting to stick to the bottom of the pan about three to four minutes. <sighs> then stir in five cloves of very finely chopped garlic. Garlic? Cook for about 25 But you have garlic in your paste already. Quarters of a cup or 177 milliliters of chicken stock. Wait, chicken stock? No, chicken stock. Or 177 7 milliliters of chicken stock. Chicken stock should not be first liquid in there. When the coconut milk gonna come? Uncle Roger waiting here half an hour now. Coconut milk still not here. Are you growing the coconut tree right now, Joshua? Why you wait so long for coconut milk? Where the coconut milk? Chicken stock we put near the end. Used to thin out the curry. Not the first thing that go in. Uh, yeah. Curry paste. Then add one tablespoon or 17 grams of palm sugar. In palm sugar, correct? Remember, don't use white sugar. White sugar for white people. Palm sugar and two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of fish sauce. Fish sauce good. Is dissolved. Then add one 13.5 ounce or four. Finally, the coconut milk go in. Milk. Followed by three additional kefir lime leaves. Bring that to a light simmer and reduce the heat to low. And if you want it ultra velvety smooth, then at this point you would blend it with a hand what? until it's smooth as you like. No need hand. What? What he doing? No need hand blender. You already pound it. It's so smooth that just chicken stock and tree leaf in there. Blend what blend? He just trying to show off his blender or something. Bring that to a light simmer and reduce the heat to low. Look at this curry color. It's so white. This Jamie Oliver level white. Hiya. This curry is so white. It about to ask Uncle Roger where I really from. Add in three quarters of a pound or 340 grams of boneless and skinless chicken thighs. Cut into half. Okay, at least that correct. In and simmer for seven to eight minutes or until the chicken is cooked through. Now it's veggie time. Yay, something healthy for once. Something healthy. Hiya. Joshua, you want healthy? Go drink smoothie. Thai green curry, don't eat healthy. Just make it taste good. Make it taste good. Really allergic to nightshades, then maybe not. Anyway, add one to two Thai eggplants. Sliced about half. He say what? 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 He say? Anyway, add one to two Thai eggplants. That not Thai eggplant. This video starting to unravel now. This just regular eggplant. Regular eggplant is the emoji you use when nephew trying to be dirty. Thai eggplant don't look like that. Hi, uh, Thai eggplant, little round ball. Remind me of my testicle. Just round and green. <laughs> Sorry, children. <laughs> Uncle Roger should get that checked. <laughs> And that also a lot of eggplant. There's so much fiber, you're gonna shit yourself for a month. Hi, uh... It's about half an inch thick. Stir that in and simmer for four minutes or until soft. Then follow that with one and a half... Cup what? Or a hundred... Yeah. 160 grams of snow peas and then just... Snow peas? No! 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 <laughs> That is munch too. That is what Jamie Olive Oil do in his Thai green curry video. No. Munch too, the worst vegetable. Uncle Roger have to put my leg down from chair. This Jamie Olive Oil level mistake. <laughs> Uncle Joshua. What happened? What happened? Uncle Roger, take his uncle title away, hi ya. What happened? Uncle Joshua, dead and gone. Now you're dead and gone. 
one and a half cups or 160 grams of snow peas. This looks so similar to Jamie Olive Oil Curry. I think Jamie Olive will see this curry. He gonna go, Oh, this green curry looks just like my green curry. It looks really good. Yay! First Uncle Gordon loses Uncle Taito. And now Joshua also. <sighs> they are the same as Auntie Helen. They just let Uncle Roger down set. So much pain in my heart, hiya. I like my snap peas to have some crunch to them, so one to two minutes is usually enough. Now once it's done, season that to taste with the juice of one lime, lime wrong, no fish sauce, and or palm sugar if you feel like it needs it, albeit optional. No way to save like it to now. Two large sprigs of Thai basil in the hot curry to release some herbaceousness. Look at this, look at this, look more like vegetable soup, hiya. Where the Thai green curry? Where? Where? Now you have an incredible curry, which should be- No, it's not incredible. Nice big bowl. Beautiful. <sighs> I can't watch anymore. And nice heaping ladlefuls of curry on the other. See, this- Fried shallots. No need fried shallot. Too fancy. And also, who eat green curry like this? Asian people, we eat green curry. We put green curry in bowl and just scoop into rice. Only white people do this. They split the curry out. The curry cannot touch the rice. It like East and West Germany. What is it about white people and segregation? Sliced serrano chili and fresh Thai basil leaves. Now this bowl right here, in my opinion, pays respect and homage to one of the greatest curries in the entire world. P pay respect? Pay respect to who? Jamie Oliver, is it? First, I think we should just go for the, the curry itself, aside from all the vegetables and proteins and everything that's in there. Oh my god, looks so white. Hit right in the face with the most fresh Thai green. Notice how there are no layer of oil on it. It seems like it would be really spicy. It's really not. Very palatable. Spice level wise, I'll give this uh, like a 4.23456789 out of 10. Not that spicy. As long as you don't launch it to the back of your throat, everything comes together beautifully. Launch it at back of throat? Who eat food like that? Who deep throat a Thai green curry? Niece and nephew, if you go on date and your date deep throat the food, marry them immediately. Perfect Thai green curry. You can make it home. And yes, you should make the curry paste. You're not making this without making the paste. Period. End of story. The paste every step correct, but the cooking all wrong. You want to know what else is creamy and makes you sweat just a little? B-roll. B-roll so cool for what? It all fucked. If Jamie Oliver liked your Thai green curry, you fucked up. Hiya, Uncle Roger disappointed now. No more Uncle Joshua. This sad moment in YouTube cooking. He looked less like chef and more like guy who about to talk to you about NFT. He nailed egg fried rice, he nailed Thai tom yum, but he don't nail his facial hair. <laughs> Go watch my green curry video. See how good Uncle Roger is at pounding. That's how I'm gonna win the heart of Auntie Esther. <laughs> <laughs> you want healthy? Go drink vitamin water or some shit. You want healthy? Go drink kombucha. <laughs> you want healthy? Go drink white woman drink. Go eat yogurt parfait and smoothie or some shit. Oh, this green curry look. Oh, I need to wear. I need to wear a plaid shirt. <laughs> if you can't do an impression of someone, just dress like them. <laughs> Niece and nephew, do you like Uncle Roger impression of Jamie Oliver? What you think? What you think? Leave comment down below. You can't even tell difference. Um, when Uncle Roger put on this mask and put on my checkered shirt, you can't even tell difference. They split the curry out. The curry cannot touch the rice like Russia and Ukraine. <laughs> oh, shit. I gotta get into trouble for this one. Put in the bloopers. <laughs>